Let's remember that well orders a set, where any of its subsets, has a least element. Or intuitively, every element has an immediate successor. This is not true of immediate predecessors. An element or of a well-ordered set is a limit element if has no immediate predecessors, and is not the first element. We want to find a way to measure, not the cardinality, but the order type of these well-orders. Therefore, we want to define the ordinals with these three attributes. First, the ordinals should be well-ordered. Second, for any ordinal, the predecessors should form a set. Third, and finally, for any well-ordered set, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence, between the well-order, and the predecessors of a given ordinal. Any model that satisfies these three conditions, captures the entire behavior of ordinals as order types. However, the most used representation, is the von Neumann's construction. The ordinals can be constructed by transfinite recursion as follows. The empty set is zero. Given any ordinal, its immediate successor, is defined to be the union, with the set containing only itself. Given a set of ordinals, the big union of the set, is an ordinal. What do they look like? We start with the first ordinal, which we have defined as the empty set. We can represent that as an empty square. The next ordinal, is the union of the empty set with the set containing the empty set. Or more intuitively, this is our graphical representation. For convenience, we name the ordinals. We get all the finite ordinals with the first two steps. The von Neumann's ordinals have the convenient property that, if an ordinal is smaller than another, then the smaller is an element of the larger, and also is a subset too. Von Neumann's construction adds a number of additional properties that are very convenient for dealing with ordinals, most particularly that an ordinal is the set of its predecessors. We have seen some basic properties of the ordinal numbers, but there are many more that deserve their own videos, like ordinal arithmetic, cofinality, the cumulative hierarchy, and more. Hopefully, this series has provided an intuitive idea about the ordinal numbers, and the infinite.